Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday was the Harvest Festival, our first holiday that we celebrated together, and well today, we have a lot of things to do. First and foremost, I want to head on up to Main Street, ignoring Stinky in the process, and see what that new convenience store is. I should also mention, reason why we didn't have any mail to check, it is before 9am. This is the earliest that I am ever recording an episode of Animal Crossing. So yeah, it is 8.39 right now. Check it out. TNT Mart. In we go. So, as Isabel was saying in the intro, this store's, uh, the store? The store has much better hours than others. Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the grand opening of TNT Mart. Come on in! So cute. Uh, you get two fortune cookies now, per day. You have this medicine right here, where if you get a bee sting, you can use it to cure yourself. Animals can also get sick, potentially, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, you get, still get two tools. You also get this megaphone right here, which I do want to grab. I recommend that you pick this up and you store it in a letter or something like that, just so it's always with you, but it's not eating up an inventory space. Uh, what this item does, if an animal is outside, you are able to call their name and you will see where in your town they are. It is very, very helpful. Voice recognition on it's surprisingly not bad either. I've never had it fail on me. I've had a few animals, like, I've known a few people that had trouble with it. Oh my god, what is this? A super toilet! What, like that episode of the Fairly Odd Parents? Okay, now let's get it. <laughs> I can't resist it. I gotta get the super toilet. I'm sorry. Uh, what is this? Uh, we got wallpaper and carpet now being sold each day. We want one of each. Uh, let's see what this dotted wall looks like. I still have yet to get rid of the uh, wallpaper that Isabel gave us, and uh, even though both of them are pretty much the same color, I like Isabel's wallpaper a little more. It's got sentimental value to me. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I. I will say, I tend to have the most fun with Animal Crossing. Uh, that looks horrible. Uh, I tend to have the most fun with Animal Crossing when I really, really get into things and, like, I have sentimental value, like, with my items because, you know, so-and-so animal gave it to me and I decorate my house like that. I know that some people don't do that, though, but it's just kind of how I feel. For Surprise Legends, all right, it is pretty convenient, but the atmosphere in the store was more nostalgic before. I liked it better that way, honk honk. I guess I get what you mean. Before, uh, when it was the Nookling Junction, I guess it just kind of felt more homely, I guess? I don't, I don't know how I would say it. Oh, didn't mean to leave yet. Forgot about this. This machine over here. This is the Timmy and Tommy Shopping Catalog. This was open to you from the start in other Animal Crossing games, but in this one you gotta work for it. The shop has to upgrade for you to use it. If you have previously obtained any items, you can reorder them here, be it furniture, wallpaper, carpet, tools, whatever. You can reorder them for the normal buying price, and they will get delivered to your house next time is next time the mail arrives, 5 p.m. or 9 a.m. Catches, certain items such as fortune cookie items cannot be reordered because those are special. However, for the first time in Animal Crossing history, you can reorder various event items as well as holiday items. It's kind of cool that I'm getting to show this the day after the Harvest Festival because this is how you're meant to get all the Harvest items, is by trading with other people, by having them order whatever ones they have, trading them with whatever ones you have. So... I really want to get a complete harvest set at some point. I don't know if I will, but I still would really like to at some point because I, I like the furniture set. Also, I'd like to formally announce the daily fortune is getting a bit of a change because there are two fortune cookies. I will only be buying one a day just because even though I would like to buy two fortune cookies because I like the items you get from them, it'd be kind of odd having two daily fortunes, so that's kind of why I'm going with that. The daily fortune is, he who believes in a pure art is probably just a beast in denial. Uh, okay. All right, what do we got? Ah, congratulations, press number a Triforce. Oh man, okay, uh, that is an awesome item. Okay, I will. I'm not complaining, man. You know, Link always struggles to get the Triforce in every single Zelda game. He needs to remember just go to just go to TNT Mart and buy a fortune cookie. You have about a one in fifty chance of getting it. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. Uh, let's see if there's anything else open. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, Leaf Store does not open until nine a.m. Uh, the Able Sisters are not open, which is very strange because normally they open before um, Nook did in other games. Uh, seems that this store is still under construction. Nothing there for us yet. So, what are we going to be doing now if no stores are open? I say we head down to Town Hall and see Isabel. Why do we say that? Well, we have not had our culturally bankrupt ceremony for that bench yet, so that could be kind of fun, I think. So, down we go. I should mention that a lot of animals are either in their houses or just not awake yet. Animals will wake up and go to bed at different times. Typically, a lot of your animals are going to be up by 8 o'clock, except for animals with deeper voices. Typically, those are... Where's my shovel? Jeez! Typically, those guys do not wake up until uh, 10 or 11. I think it was 11 in the GameCube Animal Crossing. If the animals had really deep voices, they wouldn't wake up until that late. Uh, on the flip side, though, typically the grumpier animals will stay up later, which is kind of 
Which is kind of nice if you play at night. They tend to go to bed, like, post-midnight and stuff like that, so... There's usually at least a few animals awake to play, but not all the time. And... Uh... Poke, poke. What happens if we sit down in our chair? Nothing. Okay. Uh... Isabel? You okay? Ah! Maramil! It's not what it looks like! Okay, it's exactly what it looks like. But I was dreaming about work! I promise! Oh, that reminds me. We had a visitor earlier suggested a new public works project. She wants us to put a dream suite on Main Street so you can take naps with vivid dreams. Cool, huh? She had support from the town before you can open, so this is where you'd be a big help. I'll go ahead and add it to the list of public works projects under the name Dream Suite. Awesome! Okay! You have a chance of Isabel doing that one week after you've made your first public works project if you have connected your game to the internet at least one time. The Dream Suite is what you need to build in your town to be able to visit this town. Once I have one and you have one, you will be able to visit this without any sort of friend code. Before we do anything about that, I do want to do the ceremony for the yellow bench and then we'll come back here and get that public works project started up. All right. So here we go. We will head to the ceremony for Stinky's bench pressing. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means that the uh, other public works project that was suggested... Stinky was the only one who turned out for this thing! Okay, that's pretty freaking hilarious. <laughs> Vital yellow bench project, and... <laughs> I love that! Stinky and me are the only ones here, and like we're clapping together. <laughs> I mean, I know that when you're close to other buildings and there's like not enough room for other animals, I know that like less people will turn out, but... Or less animals will turn out, but that's still pretty freaking funny. Here, Stinky, we did it. <laughs> what next? Well said, Mary. You have quite a way with words. Moving on. Everybody, please locate the item past everyone. Get ready. And now, celebrate the completion of the Public Works Project. And all the hard work that made this possible. All two beetles that I had to catch to make it possible. Ready, set, pop. I'm sorry, but that is hilarious that Stinky actually came out for the ceremony celebrating his bench. <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> so we have the Dream Suite right here. 234,000 bells. Yeah, very, very not cheap. It's also a question mark, so you can't really see like what it's going to be or anything like that. We'll be able to demolish the Dream Suite project when it's finished. Uh, of course, yes. I should work in a donation gyroid, sit inside the train station this time. Okay. So, the donation gyroid is going to be inside the train station, which is one way that it differs. But, uh, that's pretty much it for now. I think I'm going to, you know, do the routine stuff and just kind of... routine -y, And just kind of dig up some fossils, donate things to blathers, do all that good stuff. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. So if I see any villager that I want to talk to, I'll, uh, see you guys then. Oh! Uh, okay, interesting. I found a lost item. This is something we've yet to see. Sometimes animals will drop items around town. Uh, they can drop items just as you can, and... You gotta go and return it to the rightful owner. Was that an No, that was not an animal down there, that was a flower. Why did I think that was a villager? I guess I thought it was Shari or something? Yeah, Shari, I confused you for a plant. Stinky, did you drop this? Heyo, this thing has a little bit of an odor to it. Uh, you drop this? Not even close. I never run anything like this. It can't be mine. Here's what you do, Emil. Jog it over to the rifle owner. Keep those knees up. Molly, what's up? You have great taste in music. I love the inside of your house. Actually, I don't know if we've seen this already. We might have. We might have not. I just saw that she was home, so I went in to see if she had dropped this. So, have you? Lost item. There you go. Come on. Please be the rightful owner. Hmm. I can't recall ever seeing this before. All I know is that it's someone else's. Good help. Good help. But at least we got to see the inside of your house, and man, it is gorgeous, and it really, really matches you. Did I just inadvertently give her, like, a... Never mind. So, a uh, slight problem. Any animal that I can find that is awake says the item is not theirs, meaning that the rightful owner is probably not even awake yet. Uh, for that reason, we are probably gonna... Oh, wow, even Biscuit's still asleep. Dang, I thought he'd be up. And then again, he is kind of lazy. So for that reason, we are gonna have to come back later in the day to do that. Uh, oh! Okay, wow, I was about to cut away to something else, but no, we have a camper today. Okay, let's see who it is. Uh, oh, I know who this is. Matilda. Hey there, I'm Matilda. I'm just in Pallet Cabin for a little while. It's a great place you got here. I've actually been thinking about moving here permanently. Um, I'm not so sure I like Matilda, to be honest. I mean, 
Because the first time seeing a kangaroo, and a nice little touch that I like is that the baby in the pouch makes the same face that they do. Huh? Was I talking by sleep? <laughs> That's... What? You're so random. The straw needs more fish sticks there. Now add the peach, we baby. Uh, okay. Well, I tried talking to her for a good two to three minutes, and she does not want to play any games with me, so I won't be able to show any sort of new games that campers want to do, because for whatever reason, just like, oh, I'm talking in my sleep, oh, I want to move here, and I'm just like, I don't want you here, I'm so sorry. I know that if you say you want them to move here, you have to play some sort of game with them, though, but I don't want to do that, so I can't really show any more camper items for the time being. But, uh, I don't think I can really do much else until some more villagers wake up, so I will see you guys in a little bit. I kind of like the fact that I got to record this early, because it shows just how different the game is at different times of the day, but yeah, I don't really think there's anything else that I can do. Okay, it's later in the day now, and because everyone's awake, I'm gonna use my newfound awesome megaphone, aka my normal voice, to call out to the animals. Biscuit! No reply. Maybe they aren't nearby. Okay, so he's probably indoors somewhere. Um... Wait! What do you mean they're not nearby? He was right behind me! Friggin... I said the voice recognition software was good, and it usually is, but that was kind of pathetic, not gonna lie. Okay, let's give him this lost item and see if it's his, because I got a feeling that of all people, Biscuit would lose it, because he has no eyes. No, I've never seen it before. Okay. I'll just cut up until I find the rightful owner. Indeed, it was Eggbird! This was the very last animal that I talked to. Toothbrush Man, issue number nine comic book. Well, at least you're happy, I guess. Alright, uh, a Rose Sky Tea. I'm not really sure I'm too fond of that item, but oh well, I'll just smile and nod at him. Okay. There we go. That's it. So, Egbert was the rightful owner of that item. I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to take care of, because, uh, all that's left now is that I need to fund the Dream Suite, which I think I have the money for. And, of course, I want to go see Sable for the day, so what I'll do is I'll meet you guys over on Main Street by the Able Sisters. Hey! Oh, wow! Oh, Mia, welcome! Oh, that's right! Did you notice that big sewing machine over there? I've been using this machine of mine for quite a while now, so it acts up from time to time. My sisters just couldn't stand it anymore, so they got me that nice new one as a present. It's true, we did, but listen to this, Emil. She says she can't figure out how to use a machine, it's just been sitting there unused. This machine uses a Nintendo 3DS camera to read QR codes of custom designs. You can also create a QR codes for designs you've created. It's an amazing machine, especially made for professionals, but it just sits there collecting dust. I'm not sure we've given her a sewing machine or a paperweight in the shape of a sewing machine. But, but Mabel, I hate to see this machine you two, uh, you two gave me break down because I've tried to use it without knowing how. Plus, I've never really used a sewing machine that big before, so I'm a little afraid to touch it. Hmm. Oh, I've got it, Emil. You look like you'd be handy with a machine like that. Why don't you get some use out of my out of it in my stead? I'm sure I could learn how to use it if I watched you try it at first. I don't mind you using it as long as I'm not busy with other things. If you'd like to give it a try? Just let me know. All right. So after you've gotten to know Sable enough, I believe it's by the tenth day that you have talked to her, you will get the sewing machine. This will allow me to scan designs that you guys have made into my copy of Animal Crossing New Leaf. I have plans to use this for various purposes in the future. But for today, I don't think we're going to be doing that, just because, well, I have an idea for it, and I'd rather not explain why I can't do it right away, because it's a bit of a spoiler. Uh, let's see, uh, I don't see anything over here that I want from Label. Some people have been telling me that I should be talking to Label as well, because, you know, who's content with just being friends with two of the Able sisters? You want to be friends with all three of them, and she will warm up to you if you talk to her a little bit more, so I'll probably be doing that. Uh, I should mention I already went to the gardening shop and bought my flowers for the day, just in case you were wondering about that. And even though it's unlike me to have three acts to a day, I suppose, just kind of like three recording sessions, more like it, I don't have enough money to fund the Dream Suite quite yet. That was the last thing that I wanted to do today, so I'm going to be doing some fishing and things like that throughout the day, and I'll see you guys back here this evening. And we're back. It's very cloudy out, and I gotta say, I'm a really big fan of overcast days. I know some people aren't, but I don't know. I just kind of like the gray sky. Not sure why. But... That trip to the tropical island felt really good. It was awesome to just kind of lay back in bed and just kind of make a bunch of money in Animal Crossing. And while I say it's not good to grind bells, it can be kind of relaxing to just go to the tropical island and get stuff done. And I have way more than enough bells to pay off the uh, Dream Suite, so go and see Lloyd the Gyroid. Target fund is 234000 You know what I say to that? Peanuts! Wow, I can talk louder. Maybe I really am getting better. I certainly hope so, because, God, my head gets, like, swelteringly hot and lightheaded just from being around here. Oh, let's not talk about that. Awesome! Project station goal's been met. Okay. I think that's pretty much it, though. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else at all that I want to do before the end of the day. Hmm. Not sure. Um, 
I'll head up to Nook Homes really quick to see if there's any sort of new fence that I might want for my house, because I'm not really too pleased with the current fence that I have. Indeed, there was some stuff that I wanted up at Nook's Homes, though, but I'm going to keep it a secret what I ended up purchasing until tomorrow. You know, got to have a little bit of mystery in the world. Got to keep my uh, house's new appearance a secret, but I think it's pretty much it. Oh, I uh, forgot about this, actually. The last thing we're going to be doing in this video is the mailbox, so uh, the way for me to get sent them on. HHA, congratulations, your home value score. Wow, 10,000 points already? Dang, that's not bad for having, you know, only one room in the house. So, Mia, I got that present in the mail. Aw, oh, shucks, is it really mine? I want, I want to get you a good present, but the store was out of lizards. Is it okay? Uh, do chickens eat lizards? I know they can eat worms. Oh, from the post office. Commemorate saving 100,000 bells except this box of tissues. They are crying for me. They want me to just cry myself to sleep because 100,000 bells is peanuts to them. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Happy Home Academy, Egbert. Okay, what are my presents? My first Prezi, HHAT. Uh, I'll try putting that on real quick. Oh, wait, I can't because I don't have any pants. Uh, we'll see what that looks like tomorrow. Robo floor. Uh, wow, that's actually the same carpet that Egbert has in his house, so I'm very pleased with that. I don't really want to display it on my floor right now, though. And the box tissues? I think I'll display the box tissues because that's another one of the special items that gives you good feng shui no matter where in the room you put it, so I think that's pretty good. So, back to what I was saying before. What else did we do today? We uh, visited the new Nookling store. That was awesome seeing that finally powered up. And wow, a lot of fires going on in the local news. <laughs> Let's turn that off because that's a little bit depressing. Tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf. Hopefully we will finally see that new store on Main Street. If not that, hey, at least we have the dream suite. See you guys tomorrow.